I've always wanted to show the local firefighters how incredibly grateful I am for what they do. So I'm going down to the firehouse and I'm gonna help cook up a fabulous dinner for them. What could be more comforting after an intense fire drill? Coming back to the firehouse for a big pot of rich beef barley soup. I'm gonna make a pot of it for Scott and see if it's just the ticket for tonight. First I need about a tablespoon of olive oil. So I'm gonna start with oxtails. In order to make the soup really rich, what I do is sear some oxtails, and you can buy them from the grocery store like that. They're fantastic, and they're really inexpensive. This is about two pounds. These are gonna sear for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna turn them halfway so they brown really nicely on both sides, and that's what gets the gorgeous flavor. So lots of salt and pepper. Let's see how the oxtails are doing. Oh, they're perfect. So next I'm going to take the oxtails out of the stock pot and brown the vegetables. If they all go in together, the vegetables won't brown well. And then later, I'll put the oxtails back in. Now I'm going to put all the vegetables in and brown them so they're really caramelized and delicious. Two cups of leeks. They just go right into the pan. One cup of chopped celery. Two cups of chopped carrots. This makes a big pot of soup. And one cup of chopped onions. These are just yellow onions and two cloves of garlic. You always want to add the garlic last so it doesn't burn. Okay, give it a big stir. It's gonna cook for about 10 minutes. While that cooks, I'm gonna get some herbs ready. So I'm gonna take two big sprigs of thyme, and I actually tie them together. I mean, you can throw them in if you want to, but if they're tied together, they're so much easier to fish out. And while it cooks, all those little leaves just come off the stems. So that just goes right in. And then three bay leaves. Just put them right in. I'm gonna fish these out. It's really not a good idea to leave bay leaves in soup because strangely somebody could choke on them. And then I'm gonna take the oxtails and put them right back in. And this is where all that great flavor is gonna come in. Just layer them on top. And if there's any juice collected in it, put that in too. Anything that has flavor goes into the soup. I need 10 cups of beef broth. And I actually use canned beef broth because the oxtails are gonna give it so much flavor. So that's 10 cups, I'm gonna bring this to a simmer. Okay, I need a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. Mm, smells good already. I'm just gonna raise the heat, bring this up to a boil, and then lower the heat and simmer it covered for an hour. That's gonna be fantastic. So the next thing I've done is I've cooked one cup of barley in four cups of water for about 30 minutes, just until it's tender. I'm just gonna drain it and then put it right back into the soup. If I'd actually cooked the barley in the soup the whole time, the soup would get very cloudy. I don't want that to happen. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is take out the herbs. Remember the bundle of thyme and the bay leaves. It's easier to fish them out now than later. Okay, barley goes in. That's gonna cook for a bit. 15 to 20 minutes until the barley's really tender. One last thing to do before I take the soup to Scott. I'm gonna take the oxtails out. You can actually leave them in or take them out. It's totally up to you. If I'm serving it as a soup, I usually take them out because you need a knife and fork for it. But if I'm serving it as like a hearty winter lunch or even a dinner, I'll leave them in, serve it in a big bowl with a knife and fork. Okay, all ready for the firehouse. 